It is the last day in August and it has started to be cold in the nights. But the, the heater, the central heater have not been turned on yet. It have to be under 6 plus uh, Celsius degrees for them to open up. So it's cold in the night, but I am very warm in my body, in my sleep, because I move around so very much. And uh, so uh, it, uh, it happened something yesterday that I wanted to talk about. Uh, this with the, uh, with the weather, it doesn't matter so much for me because I know I'm going to uh, visit Israel in November, so something special will happen for me in in this way, the worldly way. That uh, it can be snow in Jerusalem in December, uh, but. Uh, I don't know, I have not been there in December, but uh, I think it's a uh, change very much that it can be a warm day and then later, next day, can it be snow like that. It changes very quick. So I, I hope that it will be like spring like we have spring here uh, between about uh, 15 plus Celsius degrees uh, but I bring with me clothes to wear if it be cold also because it's cold when I take the flight it's cold here so I have warm clothes on me. Uh, it was yesterday, uh, suddenly I get a call from Israel. Uh, I saw it on, on the display on my telephone. This was real from, from Israel and it was um, organization that helped uh, tourist people with uh, equipment uh, when it's come to health equipment but they don't have have the uh, mobile scooter like I have here in Sweden and I told this man that it doesn't matter for me because it's it's very hard to drive um, my mobile scooter on the sidewalks in in Jerusalem it's only around where the tourists are but uh, uh, there is nice it's a nice um, sidewalks to to walk on, but in other places, when they come to older area, there isn't. So I have some some issues with my nose today. I'm sorry. I had to clean up the nose a little. Um. It um. It can be suddenly a stairs like that, and I don't. I say to this man that I don't want to drive out in the, in the street because it's very busy, and uh, people don't drive like. Like we do in Europe, like, be uh, drive careful, 
they only drive very stressed. So I don't want to go out in it and be out in the street or with my mobile scooters. So I told him that. And I told him that the only thing I need to to get help with is that someone is coming and walk with me so I can hold that person in his or hers arm, I say. And uh, I say that it doesn't need to be every day. But if I need to go to some special places, and you know I'm going to the hospital in Jerusalem, I need uh, maybe help with it to come to the hospital. I have no clue if what uh, what the what the hospital would do. The doctor there, uh, uh, it's so um, so. I, I I only God knows what will happen in Israel. I have no clue. I understand that I have to stay in Jerusalem. I have a hotel for two weeks in Jerusalem. And maybe it changed the schedule and things with the hospital that I have to to go and make some tests. And I don't know... Um, if they will accept me in in the hospital because most of it like I say yesterday they want the money the tourist means money it's not about love for for a stranger they want the money and uh, and I can only ask for help by uh, get some funds, fund money for to pay. Uh, so I don't, I have no clue what will happen. So remember it. Remember you that follow me. Remember that I say that in uh, in the last day of uh, August. 2022 I say that I have no clue what will happen in Israel so you know that uh, when something happen in Israel what whatever it will happen or before Israel I don't I have no clue um, remember that I I say this that I I have no clue. I don't know. I go by faith only. Faith. And uh, I go on the experience I have had with God before. That he have provided for me. And done miracle uh, things. And uh, I was thinking yesterday about it. That uh, the first time I really saw that God God did something that had with money to do. It was this uh, time when I was in, homeless in the United States. Uh, and I, uh, I live in, uh, I was staying in the, uh, a homeless shelter of uh, Salvation Army uh, and uh, they were very evil to me and um, I missed uh, uh, the time for the dinner and uh, if you miss the dinner it's there is no no food to eat they don't uh, 
have an extra food if you come late in 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 the evening, uh, late for the dinner they had. So I knew I was too late for to eat uh, because of a, a real reason why I was so late. I was too deep down in in uh, Virginia Beach because I I was looking for a job because that's what we have to do for to could stay at, in the Salvation Army's homeless shelter. We had to look for five. We have to go to five working places and ask for job. And I knew already that it's uh, impossible because I didn't have a work permit in the United States. So I was not allowed to work. And I told the Salvation Army about it, but they didn't care. They uh, they forced me to do it, and and I in that day I was too deep down for to could come with a bus to the to the shelter for to eat dinner, and uh, so I I passed by um, McDonald's uh, restaurant and. Uh, it was a. I saw that uh, it was some crime story yesterday. I saw this place. It was just in the same place, uh, and it 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 was McDonald's that was laying on its own. It was a big mall on the side of it, but. McDonald's restaurant was by itself in a building, in a small building. And uh, I was I was very, very hungry. I have not eaten for, for the whole day. I eat breakfast uh, in the, home sh- uh, the homeless shelter. I eat my breakfast, but I have not eaten the whole day and it was maybe six o'clock in the evening and uh, I went into the McDonald's and I bought the cheapest hamburger I could get and and then I sit and eat and I was talking to God inside my mind and I say to God why do I need to to be hungry? Why must I I eat? Now I don't have any money, any money at all. And I say to God, that's, I don't have any money. And uh, when after eating, I went out from from the building. McDonald's building and it was a parking lot and there was no cars and this was this uh, drive-in restaurant and uh, there were no cars at all and uh, it should have been because it was about six o'clock in the evening some people should have been hungry and drive around there but there were, were no no one, and uh, when I come out, I I look in the on the ground, and I saw what's strange. It's some balls, small like tennis balls, laying there on the ground, and it was five six, like tennis balls, and I took one ball up in my hand and looked at it. And then I saw it was dollar, dollar bills. And and, uh, I picked up all those uh, balls and all of them was dollars. And uh, 
I had more uh, more money in my pocket uh, after I have found these balls than what I had when I sh I bought the hamburgers. It was not very much money I find, but it was for me in that time was it very much money. So I could, for example, buy me um, pads for my monthly bleeding, for example, because I didn't have any money for that. And, and uh, it was embarrassing to, to ask a man if they had any pads for me because I was bleeding. Uh, and so I was happy if I had money to could buy my own uh, a whole package of pads. And so, so that uh, was the first time I really saw that I got money from God. It uh, it could on could only be God that had placed those balls with dollar in it. And it, it because it was no cars around and no cars come when I picked them up. It was really clean from every person. It maybe was like that that I was on my own. It that God can do and God have done that sometimes that he can like you are in your own space your own world it's a dimension that is there for you in that moment it's a spirit thing uh, but it's included literally because it was really money I had had I had in my hand so um, so everything can happen and it have happened I have already got about three thousand uh, dollar that I didn't know where they come from so that can happen miracle miracle can happen uh, things that you are not uh, expected to happen can happen you know it's uh, uh, you know I have spirits the whole time now it's different before uh, when I started it podcast I there were coming spirits uh, and I could see them a little but now they they don't uh, show up they, I don't see their uh, they, them in the body but I feel them in in my room so they are here the whole time they are not coming and visit me they are here now that's why I don't need to see them if they don't if they don't want me to see a body because it's have with what they are t telling me um, so it was three things I should talk about this morning and uh, and now I have forgotten I've, I have a spirit here that is on me very much now I don't know if he or she can can tell me what it was I should talk about but uh, the the most important thing was that I 
I got the call from Israel. But I, I doubt. I doubt. I, I have no faith in, in people. Not at all. Because I know they, they, they talking with their mouth. But their, their heart is not with them. It's only talk. It's only air. And nothing in it. Uh, so it will be it will be very shocking for me if I get help. Uh, I have not got any help. I have uh, written about uh, this that I have no one no one I have no no family I have my daughter but she is she's not there she don't support me at all uh, she is very selfish like her father and uh, so uh, there is no help from her I don't mean with money, I mean to support in other ways. Um, and uh, I'm going to travel to her church. She's in a church, in a Pentecostal church. And, uh, and they have a restaurant where she's working in. And uh, I'm I told my daughter that I'm coming to her to her church uh, and the restaurant and they have like a cowboy they are like the Lone Star is their name because they love Texas and cowboy things so I, I say I'm going to come to the feast uh, and uh, at the feast because I have this taxi for because I am disabled so uh, I can take a taxi to her place it's far away from where I live but it's in the county so that is okay to take a taxi because it's inside the county and uh, I said, and I am coming with the keys to my home. So you can uh, come to my home when I am in Israel. You can come and live here in my city. I live in a big city and she live out in the forest. So it can be like like a vacation for her to come here and and stay here and and then also that uh, people see that uh, the my apartment is not empty that there is people here i'm a little worried because she is very bad to close doors and windows she has always been that way. She take she take no responsible for those kind of things. So I think I I have to place up a label on the windows that she must be sure that it's closed when she leaving the apartment that it's. It's closed everywhere. She had been like that. I had a canary bird one time. And she let the bird be out of the cage. And let it fly in the, in the room. And of course the bird saw it was an opening in the window. And it fly out. She, my daughter, have not make sure that it was closed. All the windows was closed, so the bird couldn't 
fly out. So it disappeared, the canary bird, like that. And she was, yeah, she was uh, 15, 14, 15 years old. So she should have, could uh, think about it to, to close everything uh, before she let the bird come out and fly. And uh, there it have been other uh, kind of accident with her. Uh, don't uh, think about uh, to be make it secure. And I understand because she she have not lived so much in in the city. She mostly have been out in the forest. So. Uh, it's a, it's a spirit uh, is on me and uh, I, it had not with my daughter to do I have to ask the spirit that is here if it's something that uh, the spirit have no gender if it doesn't show a gender Showing a body, and there is a gender in that body, or else is it is not a gender. God is, is a spirit, so that's not a gender on God. God is not a man. God is not a woman. God is a spirit. But. Uh, of course, men want it, want God to be a man. That's uh, the man, man's proud. Man is too, too proud, so it damage uh, our planet because of what, how they thinking, and how they lie, to make it be like uh, it's always a man that do great things um, I don't hate men at all but there is not good for us that they are so proud that uh, that even God have to be a man when when it's very clear that the spirit have no gender the spirit can come in into a female body and it doesn't need to come because the spirit is a female. It's not about that. It can choose any, any gender to place him or and her inside there in the, in the body what they need to come into so it's a this spirit it's showing me now what the, this is because that's it is an angel again that is here because it's showing me that uh, but this Angel have something special with it's a female it, with her. She have something special with her because she have like a circle over her head, and that circle have many stars in it, and uh, it have like a, it look like. A, like white birds but i i don't think it is birds i think it's more like angel that she is the mother of of many angels uh, she telling me now she telling me what it is she telling me that it's babies she say it's babies in the circle oh 
she explained it now very interesting it, she explained that that circle and the stars and the children over her head is those children that is placed here on earth that is those babies that is not going to stay on earth for a long time it's babies that you have got that ha you have miscarrying the baby or the baby passed away in a very young age when they were babies and uh, the stars means that that was the children that never was born that you carry the baby inside you but it never come out in in that way that normally it does it have sometimes it can be like it's going back to the beginning a baby in your womb but it can disappear and going back uh, like the body eat it up take that away and uh, and sometimes it's a bleeding that's why she come because I talk about the monthly bleeding because she's saying this that it that those stars it can be those it have been babies in it futures fetches inside you but it's coming like you have a monthly bleeding it have not been a real body built up but it have been the beginning of a baby that's the stars she say that and she have those she's telling you that she have your baby there in that circle and those babies you say like it's the waste of of life to place a baby in your womb and then it's never grow up to be a, a, a real person and, and but that is not waste because uh, what the circle is showing that is that that is uh, uh, it's uh, the same baby is placed into many bodies female bodies uh, to not about the baby is about you as a, as a person to they want to see it's like a test to see what you are doing when there will not be a baby that grow up if you are going to be angry about uh, that God took the baby away like that or if you do something positive with that miscarrying or death of the baby that could can help other people that have the same experience that you you do something positive with it so there there is babies and uh, in not you in most cases you can feel that you are pregnant because i i know it from when i miscarrying about 15 times and uh, i felt it every time in my my tits that it's something changed in my tits almost the same day it's happened that I be pregnant and uh, and uh, um, I could smell more 
I was sensitive for smell, fragrance, uh, so I couldn't go in some places in the city. I couldn't go uh, pass by a pet shop, for example, because it smells so much from from inside the pet shop. But when I was not pregnant, I could pass by, I could go in into the pet shop, but not when I was pregnant. So you had this and you have had it maybe many times that you miscarry in an early stage and and for me it was like miscarrying 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 i look in into those stroller with a baby in it and i i go angry why can't i have a baby it was before i i got my daughter and i go angry about it and but then i got my daughter but it took 10 years between my son and my daughter so i was waiting for a long time and i miscarrying and the latest miscarrying was i was in the sixth month when i miscarried so uh, i have been there where you and um, where you are and have been uh, and one day one evening i'd be so angry about all this miscarrying uh, and i w- was like talking inside me about my frustration my anger about not having a baby and i heard in the air it was before i knew god i get a message from heaven and the heavens say that i will meet my babies one day one day your baby is going to stay there and wait for you in heaven and they you will know them you will know them they will tell you in some way even if they are maybe adults when you come to heaven they look like like growing up people but maybe they can be a child also But they are going to tell you in their way to talk that they were your babies. You you had them inside your womb. But you never come to know them because they left and come to heaven so quick. But they are going to tell you and, and heaven say that that my baby is waiting for me in heaven so i have i have already told you that i i have my real family in heaven and they are there for me and waiting for me that's what i saw in the hypnosis this all these people that was standing there and waiting for me uh, so I know it and that's what you also have it have not been waste because w- what didn't happen here on earth will happen in heaven so you you have your children there that's uh, what the angel are telling by showing me this she come and I thank you for coming and tell us this about the circle of of children and the stars that is over your head there so the angel will take care of those babies and futures that is coming 
up to heaven again. They, they meet them and they hold the babies in their arms. And, uh, and they are waiting for you to come. But you should not take you, your life. You should not make a suicide because that make you not good see your baby. You have to wait until God call you to come home. So thank you for tell us these things. Beautiful angel. Um, it was not what I was thinking I should talk about, but it's okay. I was very happy that the angel come. I can talk about those two other things I should talk about in another episode. And God bless you. Thank you for listening.